everyone, John Chow here from JohnChow.com and welcome to Driving with John Chow. Right now I am at the Tesla Supercharger Station charging up the Tesla and uh, I just got back from my trip to Orlando for Disney World and the, uh, the, the, the cruise aboard the Oasis of the Sea and, and it's good to be back. It's kind of wet but uh, yeah, it's, it's still good to be back. It's good to be back driving the Tesla because uh, when I was in Orlando at Disney World, I had a rental car and that meant I had to drive a, a non-electric car. So I was driving, I went back to a gasoline powered car after driving a Tesla for the last three years now. And I gotta tell you, I now understand why nine out of 10 electric car owners will never ever go back to a gasoline car. Yeah, so uh, I understand why. And while I cannot speak for everyone who took that survey, it was like 7,700 people who took that survey, but I can't speak for all of them. But I, in this video, I want to share with you the reasons why I have a Tesla specifically and why uh, I, I won't be buying another ICE ever again. Uh, yeah. And, all right, so the, uh, the, we'll start with the number one reason, and that is no start button yeah no start button see a tesla does not have a start button because a tesla motor doesn't it doesn't need to start it doesn't idle when it's sitting down when it's stop the motor is stopped whereas a a nice motor internal combustion motor you know they idle they they keep they keep idling so you got to start it and then you got to stop it whereas a tesla they're there's no start button, so basically what I do is uh, the convenience is uh, pretty extraordinary. Like, to drive this car, I basically just have to walk up to it. It knows I'm coming. It will unlock the, unlock the door and open the door for me. Right? So I open the door, I walk in. Once I, hit the, once I hit the brake pedal, the door will automatically close. No start button. What I do, put it in drive, I drive off. I drive off. Now, uh, when I get to my destination, I put it in park, or I don't even have to if I don't want to. I get to my destination, I come to a stop, I open the door, it automatically puts it in park. If I forgot to put it in park, I, I leave the door open, I walk away. Once I'm about 10, 12 feet away from it, the door automatically closes, the car locks down and shuts down. Now, i can gotten so used to this. <laughs> I got I got so used to this that my and I forgot that internal combustion cars, gasoline cars, don't work the same way. And as a result, there were more than one occasion where my where I forgot to turn off my rental. So you know what? I got to my destination, I got out of the car, closed the door, I walked away, and the car was still running because I didn't stop it. So I get back there, I get back to the car, and I find out a it did not lock up. It was still unlocked because in order to lock up a car, you got to lock up the car, right? So uh, I thought, oh my God, I left the car unlocked and I left the motor on. All right, so that that's, uh, it's, now you might say, you might say that, well, all this stuff, all this automatic stuff just makes you lazy. Uh, I would say all this stuff just makes sense. I mean, why would a Tesla need a start button? The, uh, the, the motor, when you stop, it does not run. When you step on the accelerator, the motor turns on and goes forward. And uh, the, oh, the, that leads to the other issue that I had. So, see, in order to become more efficient, uh, my rental had what they call start-stop technology. And basically, uh, when I have a stoplight and conditions are right, the engine will just stop. Right, to save gas, right? So, because you know, when you when your engine is idling and you stop, your mileage is zero miles per gallon. You, well, yeah, you get zero miles per gallon. Yeah, infinite, <laughs> really, really bad. So, in order to save gas and to pass emission standards, uh, more and more automakers are putting start-stop technology as well as cylinder deactivations. You know, turning off some of the cylinders just to save gas and pass emissions and stuff. And normally, you think that's great, except the start-stop technology. It's, it's really, really annoying because you come to the traffic light, the engine stops, and you know it stopped because suddenly it, you feel it. And 
that's not the big part. The the the, the really, bleh, I guess part that bugs me is when it restarts. Let's let go of the brakes. The engine quickly restarts again, and, and it sh it vibrates. It shakes. You can you can feel it. And this is why um, in the beginning. A lot of cars, like my Jaguar had this, my Jaguar had start-stop technology, and it would do that. It would, I red light, it would stop, and then I let go of the brakes, and it would start up again, but it was so, it's so disturbing, the, the, the starting and the stopping, that most of the time, I turn it off. So I just idle at a stoplight, and so you can defeat it. However, because of ever-increasing fuel economy requirements or emissions requirements or whatever, uh, the rental I had is not defeatable. You cannot turn off the start stop, so uh, yeah, it was it, it bugged me because uh, I'm used to the start stop technology of the Tesla motor, because yeah, when you come to a stop, the motor stop, you like you hit the you hit the accelerator, the motor continue, and it's seamless. There's no shaking, no vibration, uh, no nothing. No, so that's a uh, that's that's an, another inconvenience. And there's a few more, but th those are the those are the other thing and. Uh, but the biggest, probably the bi the biggest thing, is uh, maintenance. Yeah, maintenance. If with a regular ICE vehicle, you have oil changes, spark plug changes, tune-ups. Uh, see, the average ICE has over two thousand moving parts, and these parts, you know, they they move and they eventually wear out, and they need to be replaced, and they need to be fixed or serviced. Right? Now, compare this to a EV. Or specifically, this Tesla, this Model X, has a total of 19 moving parts. The motor has one moving part, the thing that turns the wheel, and that's it. It is completely sealed. It requires no oil, uh, no lubricant, no spark plugs, uh, no filters. It is rated to go one million miles before its first maintenance requirement. So basically, the, this motor, yeah, a million miles. In other words, uh, I can drive this thing to the moon and back and it'll still be under warranty because the warranty on this car is, uh, the warranty on the powertrain is eight years unlimited mileage because that's, uh, the, yeah, it's reliable as, it's reliable as heck. And my last Tesla, my last Tesla Model X, uh, in the time I, I had it, my total maintenance cost Total maintenance cost for the entire three years of ownership was uh, $5 for a gallon of windshield washer fluid. And uh, I did change the tires, but that's just, that's regular. Yeah, I had to change the tires. But so far, this car, yeah, I I suspect, I suspect uh, same thing. I suspect the only thing I need to basically top up is the windshield washer fluid and changing the tires if I, you know, if I wear out the tires. But yeah maintenance and that also means the uh, convenience of never having to basically go for service and the la and the last thing is is actually you might think that it's actually inconvenient but it's actually charging charging up see when you have to uh, when you have to fill up a fill up a car you need to go out of your way to find a gas station and fill it up whereas uh, when I'm at home, I just plug it in. I get home, I just plug it in. That most times, just at home, I get plug it in. The reason I'm at a supercharger station because I just drop aside from school, and the supercharger is basically down the block from the school. So it's just it's just convenient for me. I don't have to go out of my way to find a supercharger. Well, yeah, go for find a gas station, that kind of stuff. But uh, anyway, uh, for those who are wondering or who who do ask me, like you know, what's so great about electric car? What's so great about Tesla? And why am I so such a big fan of it? You know, like uh, I I own the stock, I own the car, I, you know, like I I bought pretty much everything Elon put out, <laughs> right? And well, this is probably it. And uh, and for a while, sometimes I think the same thing. But the instant I go back to driving an ICE vehicle and dealing with start buttons and Start stop technology, cylinder deactivation, thousands of moving parts that require service and maintenance and constant upkeep. Uh, I'm reminded right there of why I drive a Tesla so I don't have to deal with that kind of stuff. And living a dot com lifestyle allows me to do so. I mean, normally Teslas are very, very expensive. Like this, uh, this model X is $100,000, but hey, they got the Model 3 coming out that's less than half the price. So it's starting to get more affordable now. So uh, people, who, you know, I guess the normal 
average consumer will soon be able to get one real soon and they're going to discover just how how great electric car is and the, it will start it'll be the start of the revolution and i imagine within the next within this decade uh ice is going to become extinct like the dinosaur that powers it john shop and john thank you very much for listening like and share my video subscribe to my channel i welcome your feedback leave it down below i'll see you guys next time